called catfishing. Oh, well, I don't mean like catfishing in the lake, but we're going to be talking about fakes, frauds, people who want to take advantage of you. So this is a serious, serious thing. And uh, that's what we're going to be talking about. So uh, anyway, you want to talk to those people on the phone first, and uh, then you need to meet that person. And if you can't meet them, like for uh, coffee, or and if they're like an hour away, or or something like that, you should really, really get out there to meet that person. So, but getting back to the catfishing thing, yeah, if their picture is really, really, and they're handsome, a lot of times they steal those pictures off the internet internet and they're using somebody's identity so um that's what they do and uh have i been catfished uh yeah but they never got any money out of me but i met this guy and he he said he was in africa building a building and his wife uh his wife died of cancer they always like to throw that in too and then he had a 12 year old son and uh so I didn't get, you know, writing me, gosh, did, could this guy write letters, you know? He'd write a two-page letter, and, and I would uh, write back with one line. And I'd say, you know what, uh, when you get to America, I'd love to meet you, but uh, I'm really uh, not your girlfriend, and uh, all that kind of stuff. Well, anyway, he told his little son that... Um, Guess what? Daddy's happy and daddy's in love and daddy has met this beautiful whatever lady and and he and then he tells me in his letter he goes, Oh my son is so happy and and he's so happy that his father is in love and all that stuff. Well, uh, I told him we are not a couple and for you to tell your son that, oh my gosh. So don't do it. And uh how wrong are you? And then he proceeds to tell me uh, the next time he talks to me, he goes, uh, you know, my little son is so happy for us. I said, wait a minute, we're not in us, okay? Stop it. And he said, uh, he'd like you to uh, come to his birthday party in Africa. And I go, whoa, when is that? He goes, two weeks. I, there's no way I can get to Africa in two weeks. So, uh, uh, and you know what? Uh, since you can't come, he said, would you, how about a little birthday gift for my son? It would really make him feel loved. I said, look, we are not a couple. And uh, I, I hated my stepmoms who tried to buy me. And I'm not his stepmother and I am not a couple. And no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to buy him a gift. And uh, that's very misleading. So, uh, so anyway, he says. So I, he sends me this letter, and I reply. This is really funny. <laughs> he goes, oh, da, 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 da. it's like two pages long. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm in love. I love you. Blah, blah, blah. All that kind of stuff. And so <laughs> he goes on and on and on. And so I reply back. You know what? You are full of crap. So, uh, what was really funny was the next letter, right? <laughs> I get this two page letter back on it. My God, he took all this time to write it. He never even read what I wrote to him. Never, never, never. So, uh, he probably has taken the MailChimp thing and has a automatic responder and, uh, you know, is sending out all this crap to as many women as they can. That's all they do. So what he really wanted to do was to give, have me say, Oh, I want you to buy my little boy a gift. And I go, Well, I don't really know how it can get there in 10 days or whatever. And he would say, Well, here, why don't I buy it for you? And uh, do you, I'll take your credit card number and you can, you know, that old thing. Well... I did not go for it. So, that's a real situation that really happened to me. And uh, I fell for all his uh, women like vocal stuff. And they like to be told how special you are and how much the guy loves you and all that. 
and all that stuff, but uh, don't believe it, okay? One thing I've learned in my life, time validates character. So anyone you meet, even a girlfriend or whatever, you need to remember time validates character. So on that issue, um, you know, you meet these people and by the way, do never, never, never give anybody any money. And if you haven't got through the thing where you met them an hour away from your house or whatever, forget about it. So, um, you gotta be careful with these people and, um, uh, also, you need to substantiate, you know, where they live in America, get an address. But I wouldn't deal with anybody out of America. I mean, like, I have been, um, I did not do well with that situation, and most everyone else does it. So after I got off of this dating site, uh, I got off with this guy, and uh, you wouldn't believe it. It was like he sold my name to all the... Uh, uh, guys who hit on uh, women, you know what I mean? So, uh, the dumber and dumbest list. <laughs> so, I don't know what to tell you. So, once you start getting into that, you just keep getting hit on. So, uh, the most important thing on this situation today is uh, when you meet a man uh, and you read all about them, is to actually try to meet them. And if you can't meet them and they're not too far away, then terrific. But don't get in any long involved situations where somebody just saw your stuff and uh, you know, they're 3,000 miles away, forget about it. I mean, how does anybody find out about all that stuff 3,000 miles away? So anyway, all I can tell you is time validates character. Okay? And trust is earned, not given. Okay? It's a really important thing. So later on, we're going to be talking about some other uh, catfishing tendencies. Uh, but that's it for today. I want to thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching this. And I want all of you girls to be safe out there. Thank you. Bye. Toodaloo. Bye, everyone. Be safe. Be smart. Time validates character. Trust is not given. It is earned. All right.